Greetings everyone, I'm Saisha Kapoor from Bal Bharti Public School, Pitampara, and I would be expressing my views on the topic. Is smart technology really infringing our lives? So let's be honest. The first thing we do, rather the first thing I do when I wake up, is look at my phone. And the second thing I do is brush my teeth while looking at my phone. And the third thing I do is eat breakfast while thinking about my phone. Right, phone and social media have become such an integrated part of society that it has taken over my morning and the rest of the day. Technologies are also so powerful that I believe they could also greatly harm our societies. And that today we have to come up with new ethical frameworks on how to use these technologies. And we have to redesign how our societies, our governments, our economic systems and our education systems work. We are starting to blur this line between virtual and reality. And I think that it's pretty interesting because as we integrate more with this technology around us, we are starting to find new ways to allow it to augment us. It has become appealingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. Now they say it has been deadening me. Well, I say it makes me feel alive. I feel that my self-worth has be had become intertwined with the number of comments and the number of likes my post receives. Now throughout history, human beings have continuously evolved and adapted to changing circumstances. Using, using the intelligence to overcome challenges and creating new opportunities. Our ancestors, without the luxury of smart devices, relied solely on their wits and intellect to survive and thrive. However, with the advent of technology, many argue that we have become overly dependent on smart devices and that this reliance is having a negative impact on our cognitive abilities. The question then arises, is it fair to say that our dependency on technology is making us dumb? Now, while it is true that technology has negative impacts on our cognitive abilities, it doesn't necessarily mean that we should avoid it altogether. Instead, we can make good use of technology to improve our brain power and shield our brain from its negative impact. Now, here are a few ways in which we can leverage technology to our advantage. We can use brain training apps, we can engage in online learning, and then we can use technology to track our mental health, monitor our mood, and then identify patterns in our behavior. And this can help us identify areas of improvement and take steps to address any issues. From digital drawing tools to music production softwares, by leveraging technology, we can unlock new ways to express ourselves and foster creativity. So, in order to conclude, I would say that by using technology to our advantage and adopting healthy habits, we can improve our brain power and shield our brains from its negative impacts. Thank you.